Max Man RC coming at you real quickly. A little while ago, we were at the Walmart and uh, we were looking at some of the RCs. And uh, we gotta remember that all those RCs are toy grades. So I uh, can't, we can't really talk bad about them because they are there because of what they're meant to be and who they're meant to play, be played with, which is basically just little kids. And uh, all in all, we went ahead and uh, we picked this guy up. Little K5 Blazer by New Bright. Now, New Bright, you know, if you've been in the RC game, you know exactly what what New Bright is, who they are, and we've all had a New Bright at one point or another. Uh, same thing with Nico, although I don't think I've seen any Nico RCs anymore, but anyway, I digress. It's a little uh, Blazer K5 from, I want to say, 68, 69. It's an OBS Chevy body style, so... Oh no, I like it, you know. So uh, let me uh, let's get into it real quickly. Let's see what uh, a whole twelve dollars and ninety five cents gets you. Uh, by the way, the body, if it seems loose, that's on me. I was working on it because I didn't want to. Well, you'll see. Let's go. Okay, so first things first. Little twenty four scale. Blazer. Fun little thing if you're about five years old, I want to say. So, obviously, the whole thing's made of plastic. Body is plastic. Every single piece of it is plastic. The tires, yeah, the tires are hard, hard rubber, if you even want to call it that. Um, if we're going to be more picky, they aren't glued to the wheel at all. Right? And uh, when it comes to the body, the springs, the suspension design isn't bolted onto the body. The suspension is actually clipped onto the actual chassis. And the chassis is just your basic one from any other toy grade. It's a two wheel drive. And you got your steering uh, trim right up here, which actually one of the things I've noticed in this thing is actually, if you guys can see this, it actually has a small cover right here right and it's the first time i see the steering trim on a toy grade with a little cover because i've never like i said i've never seen that before and this prevents it from actually going too far which i mean like it keeps it centered and it doesn't allow it to give it much play when you're riding it when you're driving it so the car itself takes a 4S battery, no I'm kidding, 3 AA batteries, just your regular mill, regular run of the mill batteries, 3 AA's, and just like a good toy grade car, the battery cover is a pain to play with, it's not hinged or anything like that, and it does come with the screw, the screws, obviously I got rid of them, um, the remote on it, just your basic um, joystick remote forward backward left and right and then the little rep on here is for the turbo speed yes that's right ladies and gentlemen this car comes with a two-speed transmission you go from slow to slower or however you want to look at it point is it does come with a two-speed transmission and you know again for $12.95 car, $12.95, it's actually pretty interesting that they actually went ahead and did that. Uh, obviously, I don't believe it's a real transmission in there, but that's besides the point. So, one thing I realized on this thing is, I don't know if they tried to emulate the center console, but uh, I thought that was actually a pretty interesting design idea on it. Uh, the remote has absolutely no lights in it whatsoever to let you know whether it's on or off. And the same goes for a car. There's no lights in it whatsoever. And just look at how loose those... Yeah. Anyway. So. Again. Given the price point. Given the fact that it's a toy grade. There's no proportional steering at all whatsoever. That's it. And yes, it does make that clicking sound.
And for the throttle, same thing. There's no proportional throttle on it. Just all or nothing. Uh, now the turbo button, like I mentioned, if we're going ahead and press the throttle up, hit the button. You know, like I said, cute little gimmick for for the for the RC. So overall, I mean, what can we expect out of uh, the price point and a toy grade RC? I'm not bashing the the RC at all. It does what it's supposed to do. It'll keep any little kid happy for a couple of hours until the batteries run out or anything like that. So I mean, it'll definitely, you know. It'll definitely keep a kid occupied and at 1295 you know it's not that big of a purchase per se so why did I buy it well besides the fact that I have uh, I like the blazers I like control blazers as some of you know, I own one. Um, that's basically why. And I'm a Chevy guy. So, um, honestly, that's one of the main reasons why I decided to buy the car. However, there is one more reason. And uh, I'll make a whole different video on that. But for now, let's go on ahead. I'm kind of curious to see what the chassis, the chassis looks like on the blazer. So, let's just pop off the body. It's just two screws at the bottom. And uh, let's see what, what all it has. Alright, so we have the body off. Let's take a look at this chassis. Basic toy grade chassis. Absolutely nothing to write home about. You got your two little cables for the motor in the back. Uh, you got your dab of hot glue, which... Um, guessing probably holds that uh if you even want to call it a servo in there and that's basically all there is to it but now if we go on ahead and uh, we're gonna pop off this other cover and there you go again no different than any other toy grade rc it's just your basic a uh, little uh, PCB in there and uh, built in ESC and receiver and uh, basically there's not there's really not much to write up to write home to just your basic little toy grade RC car which is I mean it comes with a hitch so <laughs> But yeah, this, uh, and this, like I said, the suspension, which doesn't even attempt to reach the bottom. But, you know, again, I'm giving this thing so much trash talking. It's a, it's a 1295 RC. It's perfect for a little kid. It's perfect to keep them occupied. And hopefully it's going to be perfect for my project and my idea. So, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, the K5 Blazer from, I can't put it back together. <laughs> yes, I know I'm forgetting that other piece, but there's a K5 Blazer from New Bright. Perfect for a little kid, and that's basically about all it's going to be good for. Either that, or if you just want the body and just want to have it as a display piece, because... Honestly, I usually don't say this, but for toy grade, even for toy grade, this leaves a lot to be desired. But, you know, great for a last minute gift, I guess. So, uh, this was Maxman RC. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this fun little car. And uh, stay tuned because you will be seeing what I'm going to be doing with this K5 Blazer. All right, next man out.